Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. We're back on the Ferguson FE35. As you can see from the last time we were here, I've removed the fuel tank just to save a little bit of time and to just show you a few bits and pieces on it as we're going along. But what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the front axle, all right? So it's going to be a little bit of noise now, so I'm going to pull the front wheels and then what we'll do, we'll take the track rod ends off. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to remove this wheel. As we can see, the wheel nuts are really worn, so I'm going to replace those and the studs when I come to service. The hubs also, we've got a broken one as well. So, that's that one off. So what we'll do, put this over here. What we're going to do now is remove the uh, track rod ends, which is a three-quarter spanner. And hopefully, they're not going to turn. Okay. Oh. Big hammer. And hopefully. And it comes. I'll just take it the rest of the way and it's stuck. There we go. Another hit. And it comes. I may not use these again, but I will give them a service and we'll see what we can do. Put the nut back on the end. And over. No, we'll just do the other side. So, give that snap again. And off that one is. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we're going to take these radius arms off. So we've got, well, this is a 27 mil socket, which actually fits. These are most probably going to replace they may come out, if not, they do get seized up in there. If not, I'll just take the whole unit off. So, long bolt there, and two down that end. So what we'll do, we'll undo these two. Off they come. I'm just going to cop a hammer again. And off that one comes. Give it a pull. And that's loose. That feels very tight, so I think it's going to be stuck in there. So what I might do is just undo these two and take the whole side off. Socket. There and there. One off. Get the other one off. <laughs> Gonna put fresh bolts in anyway. So we'll just give it a tap. So we'll just punch these bolts through. Thank <laughs> you. 
which I don't think they've been out for a long time. So that's our bolts and off one side of the axle comes. We'll do a repeat of the other side. All this is done in real time. These are the first time I've put any spanners or ratchets, sockets or anything on this tractor. So we're all doing this together. So we can see this one is loose, but that amount of movement in that, that bolt is going to be very worn, or this front half of the axle. But I'll do the same again. Oh, well, no, we won't. We will see if we can get this off. So let's see if we else. But I will do a separate video on rebuilding the hubs, the kingpins and even fitting new pin and bush in the axle, but that'll all be on a separate video. And that's not my come undone. Okay, so I put my air gun on, that, that nut is really tight, full of paint, was probably, and they're uh, severely rust in there. So what we're gonna do, get a breaker bar on, a little spanner on this side, and we'll see if we can budge it that way. Right. There we go. That's gone. Just be careful when leaning on it like that because it could just go. You need to trap your fingers or really hurt yourself. There we go. Off it comes. Let's get the other one out. And that's another side off. Next, we'll get the center pin out of the main beam. But looking at this, I think that's actually quite worn. So hopefully I think this is just gonna pull out. So clean up no. Let's try this on again. There we go. Bit of luck. There we go, so that's the centre bolt. Back again, grab my lever bar, so, and out it comes. Now, that is really easy at the minute. They don't normally pop out like that. Normally we're taking the whole axle frame off and actually heating it up to actually remove it. But if we can see on there, we can see how worn that pin is. So obviously we're gonna replace this because we want to tighten the whole axle up. We'll lift the main beam out. Now we can have, let's put that on there. We can have another look. We can see how worn out that is. The original part of the bush. And then I should think it's not a lot left of that. I might just see if I can get that out just to show you. So if we can just tap it out. Yeah. And that's what's left of the bush. Okay. So obviously that's rubbish. It would have ovaled the hole up we can see there, but we'll see what we can do to get over that when we come to refurbish this side. So I should put that over there with the rest and the pin and the bush. So what we've got is the front axle carrier, okay? So what we've got is a couple of big long bolts go all the way through into here to the sump and a couple each side on the engine block just holding it. Normally, depends on what other people have put in there, a 27 mil 
socket generally works. So what we shall do is undo these now. We're now going to take the front axle carrier off. So we've got two bolts in here. We can get a socket on. This one off. That's my mic. And the other one. What we'll do, we'll just loosen them all off first. We'll see. So there's one off. One of the long bolts. It looks like I'm just dumping everything on the floor, which I am, but I've done this so many times, I pretty much know where all the bolts go. But for yourselves, sometimes it's better to work each side at a time. Say all the bolts you take off one side is your left or your right, however you're looking at it. Okay, so that's those ones loose. I'll pop this side. This side got some, there's some nuts. So we'll just loosen them off. And we'll do the, the big one at the bottom. And there it comes. So if we bring the camera in, like we said before, this tractor is poorly um, restored. It was basically put into a, a sandblasting booth and just what you see, it was blasted. So we can see where it's been blasted here, a bit of paint. Also, if I get the lever, there is 60 plus years worth of rubbish just sitting in there, okay? So obviously when we do that, we're gonna clean the whole thing and so we'll get all, these, all this dirt out. So pretty much the tractor will be like new. So what we'll do, we'll carry on getting the rest of these bolts and that's off. I'll just get a trolley jack, which is just behind me. So these weight frames can be quite heavy. So use what you can to help you out. So I'd normally just put this on here just to take the weight and I can then carry on taking the rest of these nuts and bolts out. As we can see when we work on this side what we need to do is bring the axle frame forward because you can't get these nuts off because they come all the way there and actually fit hit the old filter housing. So I'll just nip the other side, take the other two out I say these really have not been off at all. <clears throat> They're still getting gummed up with a lot of dirt. So I'll just carry on. And I should presume a lot of you watching are wondering why I haven't got a socket on here. It's just that I'm on the floor and I can't be bothered to get up. But I know exactly where it is and I should have been a bit more prepared. But there you go. Off that one. So we'll just do the other two. So we'll just give that a bit of a wiggle, a bit of a tap. Just loosen these ones off. A little bit more. Another tap. One off. Another one nearly. Right, so they're all loose. It's balanced on the jack. So all I'll do now, okay, just let it down a bit. Give it a wiggle. And out it comes and let that down. So that is removing the front axle. We will move on to more parts of the front axle, wheel bearings, kingpins, 
radius arms and so on when we get to that point. But at the minute, this is just tearing the axle off so we can get to the engine. So thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you soon.